I, I just want to be back in the playoffs. Great. Uh, it's been it's been normal since I've been here. Uh, three years back to back, twelve and five in the playoffs every year. It's a great feeling. And, uh, we're just aiming to get past where we were last year. You're always pretty thoughtful on, on the big picture and how this team's going. Is there anything you can point to about something that's different this year than the last couple? Uh, for me, I just feel like we just, as an entire team, we just grew closer. Uh, we've been together for a minute now. Like I said, this is our third postseason together with a lot of the guys in this in this locker room. You know, you, you, you're around somebody that long, you know, grinding, running, sweating, all the things that goes into becoming a, a good football team throughout the year. You just you just grow a bond and you know the guy you lining up next to is he just become that much more important to you to go out there and and, and, and be that guy for him. So that's that's the that's the biggest difference I would say just because, you know, we're we're very we're very tight. You know, it's not it's not segregated. It's not you know, offense, defense, it's everybody's in this thing. Is it, when you look at how that translates to the field, is there any, anything you can point to as how that shows up in a certain way? Yeah, when, you know, when if something goes wrong and we give up an explosive play, you know, that goes out there, answers, and then comes to us and say, you know, part of my language, it's like, get that. You know, something like that, where he just knows, like, all right, that's what happened, but I know you guys. He knows us for real. You know, he knows the type of guys that we have on this side of the ball, and he trusts us to go out there and be who we are. So that's just, that's just an example because, you know, Ford, Ford leads this thing, and he has complete faith in, in, in everybody, you know, offense, defense, and special teams. How big was getting that, uh, that two seed in, in theory, at least two home games can take care of business? It was huge. It was huge, man. It's, Were you guys sweating at it all coming down the stretch? No, nah, not really sweating because it really, you know, we got to a point where if we don't get the two seed, we still in the playoffs. We still have to go play football. You know, it doesn't really matter. If we didn't get it, we didn't get it. Cool. We still have to play football. Teams still have to play us. And we just have to play our best football no That's, matter where we are. And now so, that you get the home field. Now that we got the home field advantage, and it's a cherry on top. So now we really get to go out there and handle business uh, in AT&T where – you know, for the past two years, I would say we've been a pretty good football team. Why is that? What, what has gone into that success in these last two years? Oh, uh, I don't know. I honestly can't tell you. Can't tell you. Maybe I don't, I don't know. You know, we got somebody got to pray about, talk to God about that. I don't understand it. You know, it's. I feel the same when I go out there on a away game, as well as I'm pretty sure everybody else does. But it's just different in at and Things just happen differently. I'm okay with Watching film on Jordan Love, what do you see that makes him dangerous? Obviously, only Dak had more touchdown passes this year. And, and also, what's the opportunity there? Uh, he can throw the ball. He can throw the ball. He's a, he's, when, I, when I watch him and I watch our game from last year against uh, Green Bay, and I watch the games this year that they've played, I see a lot of similarities with just his mechanics and the way he's operating inside the pocket to A-Rod. Uh, you can tell, uh, you know, his time there, he, he's picked up a lot of things from him. And uh, he can really rip it. He can rip it. And, uh, you know, they have a run game that supports him. You know, uh, a lot of good play action, you know, because you have those two guys in the backfield that's running the ball at a, at a very, very effective level. And, uh, you know, he's going out there and he's just doing his part. He's a young guy that's going to be at the top of this league uh, for, for quite some time, you know, if he continues to progress how he, how he has. It seems like one of the things he's really good at is fading backwards in the pocket, but still kind of planting and firing deep. How hard is that to defend a quarterback who can just keep fading backwards, but then still have that same kind of arm strength to rip it like that? It's, it's tough. It's tough because now it's, it, 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 he's never in a compromised position. You know, usually when guys throwing off their back foot, backpedaling backwards and throwing up their back foot, it doesn't really have much zip on it. And it gives the deep, the DBs a lot of opportunities to get there and make plays on the ball. But exactly like you said, when he's doing that, it's still zip on it. He's still getting the ball there. And uh, you know, that's just something that's been tremendous that I see when I talk about A-Rod-like things. That's one of the things that I see.